172 versus 340. I can't believe this. Please watch until the end to find out your next daily browser. In this battle between Chrome and Arc, the results are unbelievable. Welcome back to another browser comparison video. Today, we are putting Google Chrome, the household name, against the newcomer, the Arc browser. You might not have heard of Arc yet, but you're about to discover some incredible features that set it apart. But first, let's talk about what makes these two browsers different. Most of you are probably familiar with Google Chrome, but Arc Browser might be new to your ears. Arc is a fresh take on web browsing and we're here to introduce you to its unique features. The most noticeable difference between the two is their navigation. Google Chrome places its tabs on the top, while Arc hides them in a convenient left side drawer. When it comes to organizing your favorite websites, Google Chrome offers profiles and bookmarks. On the other hand, Arc introduces spaces. Swipe left or right to effortlessly access different spaces within the same browser window. Spaces can be tied to different profiles, so your cookies and browser data are separate. Customization is key for many users. Chrome allows customization for the entire window, while Arc goes a step further, offering more customization options for each individual space. Chrome boasts a vast extension web store, but Arc is built on Chromium, allowing it to directly use the same extensions. No need to compromise on functionality. Pinning tabs is a common practice in Chrome, but Arc takes it up a notch, offering an innovative way to pin tabs and even create folders for better organization. Now, let's dive into some exciting additional features you'll find in Arc. The command bar. Arc simplifies things with a spotlight like command bar, CMD plus T for quick access. Notes. Arc lets you jot down ideas without leaving your browsing window. Easel. Create digital whiteboards within Arc for drawing, add in screenshots, links, and more. Easy screenshots. Capture specific parts of a web page effortlessly and then save, copy, or share it via iMessage. Live capture. Incorporate live screenshots into your easels for an interactive browsing experience. Open two tabs side by side in the same window for multitasking. Boosts. Redesign websites to your liking by changing colors, fonts and removing unnecessary elements to focus on what's important. Epilepsy warning. The following flickering might induce epilepsy. Please look away until you hear the bell to see the results. Now, let's put both browsers to the test and see how they perform. In our first test, we'll use Speedometer 2.0, which measures the responsiveness of web applications. Let's start with Google Chrome. This takes quite some time, so let's speed up to see the results. What? There must be something wrong. This can't be the score for Google Chrome. Let us see how Arc performs. We will do multiple tests for Chrome to confirm this because on this same computer, I'm sure I remember it scored at least above 200. Let us skip to the results for Arc. 340. Wow, impossible. That is almost twice the score for Chrome. I'm sure there is something wrong in my testing. I have a suspicion that because Chrome app is placed in an external SSD, that might have something to do with the low score. After moving it to the Mac's internal SSD, nothing much changed, which is disappointing. I hope someone can explain this in the comment section, because the CPU and RAM usage of Arc and Chrome are similar. The maximum score I got with Chrome was 244. If anyone has an explanation for this, I would be happy to redo the tests and fix anything I did wrong. Google Chrome used to be a RAM hog, but it seems that Chrome developers put a cap on it so a single tab doesn't use the full system resources. Let us use Safari as a control. Let's see how far its score will be compared to Arc. As expected, Safari scored higher than Arc. This was an interesting test and in our next video, we would like to take this further by testing both browsers using other benchmarks and by comparing their RAM and CPU usage when we open multiple tabs. But for now, we want to hear from you. Leave a comment down below and let us know which browsers you'd like us to test and compare next. Your input is important to us. That's a wrap for our Google Chrome versus Arc Browser comparison. We hope you've discovered some new options for your web browsing needs. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech comparisons and reviews. Thanks for watching and see you on our next video.